Good morning everyone! So today you have probably come and I don't know to this vlog and it is morning and I'm not in the same place anymore so before I was in DC and I took a morning bus like literally 1 a.m. from DC to New York and I'm back in New York but currently I'm staying in a place called Weehawken which is on the edge of the Hudson River and it's like in the New Jersey side but we are going to be traveling again in New York for a few days so right now I am getting ready and let's head to New York now <laughs> I rate this very, very highly. It's so good. The roast chicken is so succulent, and then just everything tastes so healthy. It's just so good. I'm like in love. And I love how I'm just taking up this whole bench by myself, and I'm awkwardly sitting in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> there? No, I'm there. There were people here. I think they hate me, so unfortunately, they left. So this kale salad was really good, but the best part about this is the roast chicken, of course. And then the garlic aioli dressing is just, oh my god, damn on point. It doesn't taste like you're eating fat, which is so good. So just finished going to the workshop for New York Women Filmmakers Writers Roundtable. It was so awesome, like so good. But now I'm heading to Momofuku and I hope that they have a table for the solo traveler. Please, please. No. Bloody bones, sweet scones, cheap thrones, an entire bloody country made of loans. Katin gone man in the Katin Gayopsa wasn't yours to begin with. Afternoon, everyone. So today I woke up so late because I was so tired just from traveling uh, from DC to New York yesterday. So today um, I ran, ran some errands in the morning. So I did like I post this on my clothes because my baggage is overweight. So I post this on that and then I like explore the neighborhood and now I'm heading to Chinatown for um, a bit of a food tour which is going to be really exciting. So wash me stuff my face everyone. Goodbye. First stop, the farm. The most important thing to like realize about this place is the prices. Look at the price, it's like baked roast pork bun, 120, preserved egg, 350. Oh my god, it's so cheap, it's like $4.70 in total. So the most random thing was that like I bumped into an uncle at the congee and like pork bun place and he's actually from New Zealand, which is so funny. So right now we are outside the Chinatown ice cream factory, which is apparently pretty famous. It's got like the neon lights outside, which is like really cool. I don't know whether it's got to focus, but whatever. Um, and so I uh, tried all the flavors, and I think though this one tastes might taste the best. This one is the pandan flavor, which for anyone who doesn't know, it's like in a Malaysian Singaporean. Um, sort of food and usually the pandan goes like in cakes and you also have it in like moon cake which is awesome so I'm gonna try it now oh and it's so cute because it comes with a little poppy stick bless love it there's a big ass sign you can see it from the end of the street so excited I hope there's not a line I always get that from people like, you know, 
New Zealand doesn't really eat pickles, so it's quite awkward, but... Wow! It really complements the pastrami. It kind of clears your palate of the fat. Really good. Can I have a finish this? Probably not. I'll probably throw up. So the most famous thing to have here is pastrami and rice. And then always get mustard on the bread. I always get pickles. Honestly, you're not going to be able to finish this without your pickles. It's, pickles just helps you like digest and it just cleanses your palate and it's just so much better. Look at me go. I mean, I should take out pickles from my Big Mac. Okay, I think I'm done with vlogging. I need to focus on eating. I'm sorry. Bye. Guys, I'm tapping out. I can't eat anymore. I only ate half. I'll take this to go. I can't look at meat anymore. The sight of meat just like, it's too much. Love now. So, I decided it was a bit early to go home. So I decided to go to a jazz club that's not open yet. So right now I'm choosing a song to do karaoke for myself. Get out to enjoy. This is what you do. So that was pretty fun. <laughs> I just like had mean bands with the bartender. <laughs> it was really awkward. Um, not awkward, but it was a fun conversation. I mean, he's a really nice guy, you know. And now I can go into Smalls. Standing is all good with me. Twenty dollars. <laughs> but pricey, but all good. What do you think I'm speaking out of turn? And suppose and I declare it. Would you take my love and share it? I'm not supposing I'm in love with you. chill day catching up on some work and also just like enjoying I don't know the New York view so today I had always decided that today is just gonna be a chill day for me because tomorrow is my last day in New York and then it's also Thanksgiving um, and so tomorrow I just want well today I just want to spend like time to myself instead of like just doing the hustle and bustle and so I just like woke up and I was like okay I'm gonna go to the park and this park is literally like just up the street from my accommodation and it's called Hamilton Park so if you don't know who Alexander Hamilton is he's one of the founding fathers in the US and not here but like right next door um, there is something called the Weehawken du Battling or Dueling Grounds and that is where Alexander Hamilton was shot by Aaron Burr and so it's like a pretty historic place and amazing view too can you believe it legit like just what wake up and come to this view this is so amazing to me like I'm just like in my prime spot right now which is like me views eye and food which is like the perfect combo ever <laughs> 
These guys are so cold. It's like what one degree right now? Yeah. Oh, so cold. Holy crap! It hasn't been this cold in New York. Like, I haven't really like faced it yet. But right now, we, me and my friend Annie have just come to Donut Pub, and it's our first time trying it. And I got the hot chocolate with like whipped cream, of course. And then this is a maple bacon croissant. Oh, I've done this like the whole trip. So it's great. Oh my god. That is so soft. That's great. So soft. Yeah. It's so good. It is so cold. It's like negative seven. I can't do it anymore. I stayed for two hours or th two and a half. It's my max. I can't do it. I'm leaving. I'm going to Brooklyn. Honestly, the metro, like subway, feels like heaven to me right now. Like I can't feel my fingers. I can't feel my toes. But it was so, so cool though. Like the Thanksgiving parade. And I think it's not just cool because of like the balloons, but also because you get to meet so many different people. I met people from France, LA. I met people from just Brooklyn. I also met people from Austria and Japan today. And everyone was just like having a really good time and just like laughing and talking and introducing themselves. And it was just like a really awesome experience. Everyone, how are you guys doing? So um, if you just watch the Thanksgiving parade I hope that you enjoyed it um, it was an intense experience because of how cold it was and so basically like my plan was is that like I after the parade I met up with a friend had some lunch we had a bit of a chat and then I actually came back to my accommodation and so I already just had a nap so I had like a three-hour nap because my flight is at 7 a.m. is 7 a.m. It means that I won't be able to sleep tonight because I have to leave the house by 4 a.m. And so it's a bit of a tricky situation. And so I've had a nap. Um, I'm about to eat dinner because it's about 7.43 right now. And so after dinner, I'm going to pack, shower, you know, like do everything and just like get ready to go. So hopefully next time that I see you, I'll probably be um, maybe in New Orleans. Okay. Hello, so it's about 4 a.m. now and I'm just getting ready to leave for the airport before I go to New Orleans. I know I said that I would see you in New Orleans, but I just really wanted to like see the night sky like one more time. The skyline, so nice. Can't believe that's New York. And I've been here for two weeks now, so officially I'm leaving. I'm like pretty sad because obviously like New York is like maybe where I want to be in the future so <sighs> sad to leave.